Whenever Rahu sits in your chart, these 10 things can happen. Wherever Rahu is placed in the Bhava Chalit chart, clarification after the Sun video and the Saturn video, not your Lagna chart, Rahu's placement like or every other placement of any planet should be only seen from the Bhava Chalit chart. If you are not aware of the BCC, then I have a video. Please go to YouTube and search Exotic Astrology. Bhava Chalit Chart, B H A V A C H A L I T C H A R T. All right, it's not some fancy name, it's there already. Watch that video. And now, once you know where Rahu is placed, then you can come back to this video and see what are the 10 things that could happen. Number one thing, which is which is inevitable, wherever Rahu sits, there will be never ending desires. <laughs> So, they say Rahu in 10th or 11th is great for career. What they actually mean when they say is that you will never like, you will be happily dissatisfied with your previous success and then you will run, 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 run. So, see, what is Rahu? Rahu is like, suppose somebody comes and tells you there is a game which you have to play where you have to run in a treadmill. But there are two rules of the game. One rule is you can never win. The other rule is you can never stop. So, will you play that game? Well, uh, so that's what Rahu is, right? So, therefore, Rahu, wherever Rahu is placed, you will always feel there is some more to achieve, more to conquer, more to get, more to uh, enjoy. Okay, You will always feel like that because that's what Rahu is. Rahu is demoniac. Now, number two, there is illusion. There is Maya there. Rahu is Dwa, right? So, what is Rahu? It's the smoke. So, what does this mean? It means he will show you something which is not. Okay. So, this means Rahu will create cloud and he will hamper your judgment. So, for example, if Rahu is in your fifth house, for example, and again, disclaimer, this is not a video for Rahu in all 12 houses. Okay. This is not the video. Okay. That's not possible to do here. So, if Rahu, suppose, is in your fifth house, you will you will move, you will be in illusion about your lovers okay oh this you will fantasize your lover you know, oh my lover is like this my lover is like that you know he's the best person she's the most terrible person you know so you will exaggerate things and you know you will feel as if uh, you have got something which nobody can get or what did you do that you know you got this person so it, it will be either so great or so bad but it will all be in your mind, all right? So, therefore, wherever Rahu sits, is regarding that house, you should take some higher guidance from your parents or your um, or some coach in that area or from some astrologer or from a spiritual guru, okay? Whoever that person is, somebody should be able to warn you and make you careful of that area. Otherwise, uh, you can run into trouble because you will lack good judgment in that area, okay? Now, Number three, you will want to break social norms. So, see, Rahu, Rahu represents, Rahu Ketu primarily represents, you know, borders. Okay, so what is there on the other side of the border? You know, somebody from another country, right? So, that is why they say, you now, if Rahu is in the seventh, you might get married to, you know, some uh, intercaste or, you know, interreligion or something like that. Okay, now, not necessarily true for everybody, but in general, it can happen if the other factors are supporting. Why this happens? Because when Rahu Dasha comes, you might start getting attracted to somebody who is from a different community, different culture, different caste, you know, so uh, different religion also. So that's natural. That's the trait of Rahu. Rahu tells you that whoever is inside the border is not a good person. Only the person who is outside is a good person. So that's what Rahu tells you. And then what happens? You, you know, you fall into Rahu's trap and you uh, kind of get attracted. Okay, uh, trap in not in a derogatory sense, but that's how uh, that that's how Rahu acts. Okay. Now, number number four. This is this is brilliant. You know, I mean, uh, this is maybe the most important trait of Rahu. Okay, shocking events and sudden changes. Okay, it's like shocking. You know, something come. Completely unpredictable happen. It's like bizarre. How can this happen? Okay. So, suppose Rahu is in seventh and, you know, uh, you come to know your spouse and did something which you, which when you hear, you are like, oh, that person is not like this. How can this person do this? You know, it is not possible. But 
that person might do. Okay, so wherever Rahu is sitting, please be on guards related to that house because the person that this house represents may do something or the person may give you such pain that you would have never expected in a thousand lifetimes, okay? Can be good also. No, so suppose some uh, you meet somebody, Rahu Dasha is there, and you know Rahu is in the tent. And then you go somewhere and you, uh, you you meet somebody, and you know that person says, "Yeah, yeah, I'm in you know Microsoft, Google, Apple, Amazon, whatever." You know, let, let, let's you know the person helps you, and you suddenly get the job uh, in like a very short period of time because of that person's reference. So completely bizarre things can happen. Okay, complete bizarreness. It's like. Uh, you can fall back 20 years or you can elevate 20 years, okay? Suddenly in your 20s, you become vice president or CEO. Something can happen. Anything can happen in wrong, okay? But it is very unpredictable. Now, number five, there could be, there could be success through foreign lands in that area and there could be, uh, you know, lack of success uh, in your own area of life, uh, in your own country especially. Now, what does this mean? This is, this is a bit similar to uh, point number three, you know, where you are, you know, breaking social norms. Uh, but this means, suppose Rahu is uh, placed in a particular house. Uh, suppose Rahu is in seven. So it might mean that, you know, you uh, may not be able to find somebody in uh, your country, your region. You might have to look for somebody, you know, uh, in, in a different community, different country. Okay, Rahu in 10th, maybe you are not successful in your homeland. You are successful in a foreign country. So, the foreign element will be there physically and in terms of culture also. Okay, so both the elements are very important. Number six, karmic lessons. Okay, so wherever Rahu is placed, you have deep desires. And when you have deep desires, what do you do? You do wrong things, right? So because whenever you do wrong things, when you commit sins, what happens? It backfires. Okay, the, the sinful karma comes back and you suffer. So... This means wherever Rahu is placed, you might have a tendency to, you know, do wrong things and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, get beatings, okay? So, so please be careful if you have Rahu in those sanas, don't break the law rules and otherwise you will suffer, all right? Number seven, wherever Rahu sits, there will be obsession and addiction, okay? So, wherever Rahu is sitting, you might have obsessions like you know obsessions with the opposite sex it could be anybody especially if Rahu is in third or uh, fifth or eighth or eleventh you might have obsession with the opposite sex okay if Rahu is in the second sixth tenth or eleventh you would have obsession with money so all these things could happen and if especially if Rahu is in a dustana you will have addictions so it's very likely not for everybody unless your chart is like very 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 strong but for a normal person Especially if Rahu is in 12 or 8 or 6 or even a third sometimes. You might have a lot of problems uh, with addictions, okay? Now, watching adult material in the internet, you know, smoking, drinking, uh, prostitution, drugs, uh, or it could be, you know, mobile, Instagram, whatever, okay? So, some kind of addiction can be there. Very dangerous. Please be aware, okay? Now, Wherever Rahu is sitting, there will be undiagnosed health problems related to that area. So, for example, if you know Rahu is in the fifth house, there could be some problem in your heart which is kind of not diagnosed. Okay, nobody knows. You are going to like 10 different doctors and nobody can tell you what will happen. Okay, or what what's the disease. Okay, so if this is happening, then... Uh, try your best and wait till uh, the next uh, dasha changes. So in Rahu dasha, if you if you have Rahu in fifth and you have a heart problem, you are not able to diagnose. Then in the next antar dasha, you might be able to diagnose. Okay, unless it is unfortunately Rahu Mahadasha, which is eighteen years long. Okay, but nonetheless, you need to understand that there could be a situation where you feel uh, you are confused, or maybe three different doctors are saying three different things. Okay, and Somehow you know what is wrong with you, but nobody is able to understand what you are saying, okay? So that could be there. Now, number number nine, this is very important. You might have a tendency to deceive others. This is gold, actually, okay? This should have been point number one. 
but nonetheless you might want to deceive others you might have a tendency to speak lies cheat others you know bully others um, anything bad or you know physically abuse others you know or maybe sexually wherever rahu is sitting please make sure that you know you or it, there could be things like you know incest or you do something with somebody in the family you know so especially if the second or third house is associated so so therefore you, know, you need to be careful so if rahu is in houses like you know 5 8 or 5 8 12 11 all these houses then please make sure you are very careful with boundaries uh, related to the opposite sex or somebody else could also deceive you okay so therefore uh, you know rahu in 10th careful with your colleagues you know especially members with the opposite sex somebody might put a fake case against you okay so therefore don't deceive others and try not to get deceived by others also so it could be both the way now okay very 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 important now number 10 this is very 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 important wherever rahu is sitting you might have a very uh, wrong conception about that area of life okay so for example rahu is you know uh, in the seventh house and you feel oh all marriages are bad you know everybody who is married is you know this or that whatever so some something very weird you know which others cannot understand and uh, you you start to feel that you know you, you, uh, you nobody understands you that's what rahu is okay because rahu is outside of the border so it's like where rahu is in your chart in that area of life you are outside of the society so nobody can see you they can hear you they can understand you so because of that you feel left out in the society okay so therefore if you feel uh, this is the situation then uh, you again you should stabilize your mind and you should see and if you are confident then go for it but if not then take higher guidance this is something which i have always said you should take higher guidance from experienced people especially spiritual people who are uh, more experienced and knowledgeable and mature and elevated than you in the area of rahu all right thank you so much for your patience please mention down in the comments where is your rahu what do you think he is doing in your chart and for personalized consultations my website is also down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already jai sri ram